Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about a company called Squidjig. Uh, I know the owner of this company personally, his name's Louie. He makes a couple different uh, stair layout jigs, but he also claims that there's more to them than just for staircase layout. So we're gonna take a look at these two sets of jigs and kind of put them to their paces really quick. And we'll see if we like what uh, he's claiming on the back of the, back of the uh, cardboard here. So there's two different kinds. One's a standard uh, layout jig that you've all probably seen the, the brass ones that have been made in the past. They're about half this length and they don't work as well on the sides of rough material. So if you'll notice this one, the most important thing about the squid jig, it has my logo on them. So that's pretty cool, right? And the color. So they're black and they have the Dr. Dex logo. So go get yours today. No, I'm just kidding. So anyways, let's open these up. Nice packaging. All right. So th this is what I'm used to using right here. They, they actually have a thumb screw to tighten, but they have a 5 16 gap, which is pretty fat. And you're like, well, why is it so big? Well, Louis made it that way. So not only will it fit on a framing square for like staircase layout, but it'll also fit on the front of your uh, skill saw or chop saw. If you do need to do some fine tuning or ripping of product, you can actually just clamp the squid jig onto the plate of your saw and you can give yourself a rip gauge, okay? Which is kind of cool. So you're not having to think if you need to rip just a little bit or a lot, just depends on what you got to do. You can set it on like that. And then I'm taking a half an inch all the way down, just like that, lickety split. So that's kind of a cool feature. All right, now these barrel jigs, they have a couple different slots and you might be able to use these a little bit differently than what you would like to say a traditional set of squid jigs. So on this one, I've seen guys taking these and putting them on your square a different way, like maybe like this. And it doesn't really matter exactly where you put it. Just put one there and take the other one, put it right here like this. As long as you got both of them tight, you can actually use this to keep things square. Like maybe you need a third hand and you need to keep your square up, something like that. This is a really cool way to do it. See? So also, if you're using it on conventional lumber, obviously this is a piece of plywood, but let's just say you got a two by 12 and you're, or you're marking wide boards, two by 10, two by 12, and you don't have a large speed square, you could use something like this to keep things nice and square as well. Again, you can do the same thing with this product that you can, maybe you're ripping a little bit thicker material and you want a little bit deeper uh, support than, than what that squid jig would offer. You can take this and lock it down onto your fence as well on your, and it, it becomes as well a rip gauge for your skill saw or your, your framing saw. So uh, those are cool products. Like I said before, both of these will work for laying out stairs. So let's show you that function. Maybe I have a seven inch uh, rise. There's seven inches. I just lock this on right here and I have an 11 and a half inch run, we'll say. I can put this over here on 11 and a half. I can lock this side in over here. Put it right on 11 and a half. Lock this down like so. And now I can lay out my staircase. I can lay it out this way. I can lay this out so the back side actually makes the mark instead of the inside. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, we've had this discussion in the past about how to lay out stair jacks. That's not what this video is about. It's just showing the product, okay? And showing the functions of it. So these are really well built, all aluminum. You can, uh, I know that he also uh, makes a couple ways that you can store these. I do not have those products here today, but again, Really cool. If you want, he can also put a custom logo on the product for you as well. We're actually considering doing a limited run of these. So leave a comment below and let me know if you guys wanna see a limited edition Dr. Dex set of squid jigs, okay? 
and we'll get with with the company and see if we can produce those so thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it if you like what you saw don't forget to hit that subscribe button as 83 percent of you do not so let's get that uh, average up a little bit by clicking subscribe there's no cost to you it's no big deal and then hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we're putting out new content which is usually three days a week thanks for watching don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below thanks for watching have a great day